right, so for this particular week, I decided to look at the original aircraft patents from the Wright brothers for their flight machine in 1903. So originally the Wright brothers patented their technology and it was rejected. And then in 1904, they hired a lawyer and it took three years for the patent to go through. And this particular patent was for a flying machine and looked at the control surfaces and how they were coupled in terms of adjusting the, the yaw on the rudder and the roll using a warping mechanism on the wings. And so they filed a very broad application and were using that to protect their design. At that point in time, several other competitors were developing their own aircraft. And so one particular competitor named Glenn Curtis developed another aircraft that had a much more easily designed and able to handle control mechanism uh, similar to the ailerons that we have on wings nowadays that allowed for a better um, glide and yaw and roll control um, coupled with a steering mechanism. And so based on that technology, the Wright brothers claimed that he had infringed on their maneuverability patent and the litigation went on for several years. And by 1910, the Wright brothers had had a particular design for aircraft and they were charging $25,000 per plane. Glenn Curtis was charging $5,000 and the Wright brothers spent so much time in litigation that they actually stopped developing their own technologies and became far inferior to their competitors in the business. The litigation continued, the Wright brothers won, however the patent expired in 1917 and Curtis never paid out. And the only reason that the um, aircraft were allowed to develop using a similar technology to the Wright brothers patent is because due to World War I, the US government mandated that a patent pool be created through which all aircraft manufacturers would pay a small blanket fee to join and then they could cross license each other's patents and use that technology in order to keep the U.S. current with the aviation required to wage war.